I'm finally going to get around to uh, fertilizing my blueberries and raspberries because that is something that should have been done in the early spring and now we're almost in early summer but there are flowers on it and it's not it doesn't look too as well this year as it did last year and I think it's because I just have never fertilized so we're gonna add some high acidic fertilizer uh, this is four berries um, it's 436 acid mix so we're gonna add this to the soil I'm gonna put a little more soil in the pots and then we're also gonna transplant the blackberry and the other blueberry plant that I bought we're gonna put those in pots until they get a little bit bigger and then we'll put them in the ground let's get started so I'm gonna feed our berry plants some acid mix, all natural fertilizer. This is from Down to Earth, and I like Down to Earth. Uh, the boxes are compostable, it's all natural. They provide smaller boxes so that I'm not storing things over the winter. I can just use this whole box on the four plants that I have and then compost the container and it's done. And then I'll get more for next year. Um, so this is nitrogen, phosphate, calcium, magnesium, and sulfur. So berries, uh, raspberries, blackberries, loganberries, um, uh, evergreen shrubs, they all like a low pH soil. And we have not had our soil, our ground soil tested. I do know that we have a lot of clay. Uh, once you get down a couple inches, it's clay. Uh, but the surface soil, I'm not, I don't know what the pH of that is, but we use container soil for our pots and that's what all of our berries will be in for now. And the, that's a pretty stable pH. So we are going to lower the pH of that soil with this fertilizer. And again, it's a little late in the season. I should have done this in the early spring, uh, but fertilize when you can. Uh, and it'll help. So if you fertilize in the spring, it helps with the leaves and the berries growth. If you fertilize in the fall, it'll help with the roots over the winter. So we're doing it kind of in the middle. It's still spring, but we're leaning more towards um, early summer, but we're gonna do it anyway so that they get fed. So we did have flowers on this bush and all the flowers have fallen off and we do have some berries forming. So this plant is already producing berries and all the leaves went from this red to green. So what we're gonna do right now is we are going to remove this big clump of moss, which I'm actually gonna plant it somewhere else. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Because I like moss, I think it's very pretty. very soft. So when I was a kid there was a mossy area in the woods of my grandmother's house and we used to call it Mother Nature's Carpet and we would go up there and we would just lay on this soft carpet of moss and then we would pick the blackberries that grew wild up there and it was just a very very fond memory for me of Mother Nature's Carpet. What I did was I loosened the soil. I took out the moss and then I loosened the soil. And then because this is a pretty established plant, I'm gonna feed it two tablespoons per gallon of soil. So this is probably a five gallon bucket, but I'm just gonna put it on the surface here. So that's two. Do two more. Okay, do there. Then we're just going to mix it in here. And then what we're going to do is put more, more soil in this because it's getting down to where you can, like, these are this all in here is all roots. So it's getting pretty low on the soil. So I'm just gonna add some more soil.
now we are going to transplant our blackberry and blueberry into bigger pots where they will live for a year or so before we plant them in the ground. So there's the blueberry, the fertilizer we're going to put in, and the blackberry. You can already see the tiny little blackberry and the blueberries. Later. The blackberries are all coming out. We've got lots of blueberries on this one. Uh. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. We did everything and we are so excited to watch it grow for the rest of the summer. So again, thank you for joining us. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and also give us a big thumbs up. And as always, Sookie Sookie, love the earth, love yourself, love each other. Till next time.